Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Physics 30 Electromagnetic Radiation EMR Lesson 9, The Photoelectric Effect. Now, 1839, A.E. Becquerel, Jack of Hearts, discovered that when light is shined on certain metals, the metals produce electrons. 1887, Hertz, Seven of Spades, called this the photoelectric effect. 1899, J.J. Thompson, the Eight of Spades, used this in his cathode ray tube for the charge to mass ratio. And in 1905, Einstein, the Ace of Spades, explained this. Now, Einstein theorized that when an electron absorbs a photon, they jump off the surface of certain metals. Now, an electron plus a photon gives you a free electron. Now, two things here. One, this is a... Oh, you shut up. This is a special photon of light, not any photon. And we see this all the time in solar-powered stuff. You might have a solar-powered calculator. I have this lovely solar-powered light in class. I'll show you eventually. Anyway, it has to be a special photon. Now, Einstein developed this experiment. He used a uh, cathode and an anode and light shining on the cathode. Now, we have a voltmeter to register current flow or electrons. Now, light of different frequencies is shone on the metal. Only certain frequencies causes a current. This is important. Only certain frequencies. Now, note, the other thing to note is intensity, that is number of photons, had nothing to do with the emissions. Okay? So, you could um, crank up the intensity of the light, you can crank it up to a laser. It still wouldn't work. It was only certain frequencies that worked. And remember, Frequency talks about energy. Anyway, so it takes light of a particular frequency, E equals HF, to release an electron, to, o to overcome, the bind overcome the energy binding the electron to the metal. Now, this frequency is called the threshold frequency F sub zero of the metal. So the energy needed to remove the, the electron is called the work function of the metal, E equals W, which is HF sub zero. Now, this is an example for you. Sutnonium has a work function of 2 decimal zero zero electron volts. What's the threshold frequency? It's the minimum frequency of light necessary to knock an electron off of sutnonium. And two of you are getting the joke. Okay, so W is HF sub zero. We want the frequency, threshold frequency, which is the work done or the energy divided by Planck's constant. Work done or work needed. Two electron volts. And so Planck's constant, we use the 4.14 times 10 to the minus, minus 15 electron volt seconds. So that gives us 4.83 times, times 10 to the, sorry, times 11 to 10, God help me. 4.83 times 10 to the 14 hertz. 10 to the 14 hertz, that is something in the visible spectrum, 4.83, that's something around red-orange. So, uh, I don't know if a red laser would, or red light would work, but an orange would. Okay? Now, this work function, the amount of energy needed to just get the electron off the metal, I want to stress that. The amount of energy you just need to get the electron off the metal. Any extra energy the photon has is converted to kinetic energy for the electron by conservation of energy. So the kinetic energy maximum, or any leftover energy, one half mv squared. Hf is the energy produced by the incident photon. Notice not f sub zero because it's beyond that threshold frequency. And w is the energy lost metal of the work function, peeling off the electron. Now you can see why this would be popular on the diploma exam, and hence tests, because there's a lot of stuff here, and this formula is not directly on your formula sheet. So kinetic energy equals HF minus W. I should emphasize that. A newish formula to remember. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. So, if light of frequency 5.00 times 10 to the 14 hertz is incident on a metal of work function 2.0 times 10 to the minus 19 electron volts, sorry. Sorry. 
excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. My apologies. Sorry. Uh, 10 minus 19 joules, sorry, comma. Period, sorry. What is the maximum kinetic and <coughs> maximum energy of the electron? Let's see. E sub K max is HF minus W. So the kinetic energy of the photons, one half mv squared, equals the uh, <coughs> energy of the photon. Planck's constant, since this is joules, we have to go 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds times the frequency 5.00 times 10 to the 14 hertz minus the work function of minus 2.10 times 10 to the minus 19 of a joule. And the standard trick question would be what happens if you cut, use electron volts uh, seconds in the for Planck's constant, you'll get a very wrong answer, and that will be one of the distractors. Anyway, so one half mv squared. You do the math is 1.215 times 10 to the minus 19 of a joule. Double check my math for me. I think I'm right. So, what is the velocity of the electron, not the kinetic energy? What's the maximum kinetic energy? Sorry, this is E sub K. The velocity, have to rearrange this, this is 1.215 times 10 to the minus 19 of a joule, one half. Now, what's the mass of an electron? Well, if you look at your formula sheet, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 of a kilogram. You take the square root of whatever that number is, you get 5.16 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. So an electron is shot off, uh, shot off the metal plate with that velocity. Right. Now, so far so good. So go back to our diagram here. Cathode, anode. So the light shines on the cathode. Here's the electron being knocked off. And we just calculated its velocity. Now. How to calculate the threshold frequency? Well, actually what we do, we have a moving object, a moving charged object. How do we apply a force on a moving charged object? Well, we can use a magnetic field or an electric field. Since we happen to have electrodes here, we can put on an electric field. Now, in this instance, we would set up a battery uh, here, these electrodes. We put a battery on it. Now, this is a negative charge. So we want the electric field to go this way. And guess what happens? That electron gets pulled back. Let me give you an example here. As soon as the electrons are produced, the DC source is turned on. An electric field is produced that pushes the electron back. Now, we turn up the voltage. It's called the stopping voltage. And the electrons just stop emitting. And we can calculate the threshold frequency from that. And going back, voltage is change in energy or kinetic energy over charge. E sub k is q v stop. But our maximum kinetic energy is hf minus w. So we can combine these two equations. hf equals ek max plus w. Or, uh, sorry. Now oh, there it is, sorry. hf equals AK, ek max plus w. Or energy of the light equals energy of the electron plus w. Or, hf equals qv stop plus hf sub zero. Several different ways to write out the same equation. But I want to stress here, since, and you can see why this is popular on the diploma, hence you will get lots of questions on this. Energy of the photon. We have Blue here is kinetic energy of the electron. And we have our work function or energy to remove and the electron.
energy of the photon, kinetic energy of the electron, energy to, to necessary to move the electron. Now, I said here, you can see why this is popular on the diploma. It's not hard, but there's a lot of steps to it. Okay. Now, a photon with energy of 4.5 electron volts strikes the surface of metal with a work function of 5.0 electron volts. Calculate the electron's maximum velocity. Well, I'm, okay, so I'm going to use the formula HF equals EK max. What's the work function? So, four point five electron volts is the energy of the photon coming in. We have to figure out energy kinetic max. And what else are we given? Well, the work function, five electron volts. So, how much energy, how, what is the electron's maximum velocity? Don't solve for it, what are you getting? EK max is 4.5 minus 5 EV, which is minus 0 0.5 electron volts. This is a trick question. You cannot have the negative energy left over. You can have positive energy left over. This is no electron emitted. The initial photon, HF, does not have the energy necessary to knock an electron off. This is below the threshold frequency. It doesn't work. So, trick question. All right. So let's try the next version. A photon with energy of 7.5 electrons, electron volts strikes the surface of a metal with a work function of 5 electron volts. Calculate the electron's maximum velocity. This we can do. HF equals E sub K max plus W. So HF, the energy of the photon coming in, 7.5 electron volts. That equals the kinetic energy plus the work function is 5. So, so remember what I said? The kinetic energy is the leftover energy after if the photon comes in, after it knocks off the electron. We have how much energy left over? 2.5 electron volts plus. So the electron is knocked off and it keeps on going. Okay. Now, what's the kinetic energy? I don't know. Well, actually, the electron, well, that is its energy, 2.5 electron volts. But, sorry, thinking SI units. What's the maximum velocity? For this, we don't know electron volts, so. Is it K max? 2.5 electron volts. We got to convert this to joules, and it is one joule. No, sorry, one electron volt. Forgive me. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 of a joule, which gives us 4.0 times 10 to the minus 19. Now, that's the energy. Can you convert that to kinetic to velocity? Yes. One half mv squared. I'm running out of space, so v squared is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 19. One half times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And of course, my calculator stopped. Die. So grab the other one. And what are we getting for an answer? Four e minus nineteen divided by point five divided by nine point one e minus thirty one. E to the minus thirty one. Never mind. 
the other 31. 8.78 times 10 to the 11 meters squared per second squared, which gives us a velocity. 9.4 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. All right, or 9.37. So far, so good. Now, this is summarized here by this chart. Now, when you go to the folder, you will see the notes, the worksheet. There is also uh, an applet I'm going to uh, uh, put a shortcut to so you can play with this. Tomorrow we're going to do a lab, but today I want you to do the questions on this. So, remember the slope here, h, is Planck's constant. And I want you to note this is y equals mx plus b. Our y value is e sub k, hf, mx is h times f, and our b value is down here, our b value, see I should color code this, this is our y-intercept, the work function, w, which is hf0. Now, since it's uh, below the x-axis, we subtract it. And yes, so a different way to write out the equation. Right. Now, as I said, this page here is a separate handout summarizing Planck's constant in the notes. And go work on the applet now, and then try the homework questions, and I'll see you in class. Any questions, shoot me an email. Good luck.